Hey, Salvador Raven here. Welcome back to the Crowdfunding Demystified YouTube channel. And today I'm talking about the photos that you select to go on a pre-launch landing page. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people saying, can you go a little bit more nitty gritty when it comes to making a pre-launch page? So I'm gonna get into that in today's YouTube video. Okay. So let's hop right into it. When it comes to the pre-launch landing page, this is really what people are coming to before your campaign goes live on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. And if you do a correct pre-launch, it can literally be the difference between night and day when it comes to getting your campaign funded. So I want to walk through a few different tools that I use on this video to share with you so you empower you to create the page yourself. Also, at the end of the video, I'm going to be sharing with you a resource which you can use to dramatically speed up the time to create one of these pages and finally I'm going to be sharing some real world results with you when it comes to the pre-launch and running an effective pre-launch for your Kickstarter campaign. So first of all, I talk about a ton of this stuff in my books, which you can see behind me now. My book, The Kickstarter Launch Formula, I go through this in depth. Now when I'm handing this to you, and I'm handing you the tools, if you will, to drive this car, or to be able to figure out the whole pre-launch when it comes to the landing page, it's one piece of the puzzle. And I do think it's important to teach on many of the different pieces. So if you haven't yet, go and watch some of the other YouTube videos that I got out there. Listen to my podcast. The Crowdfunding Demystified podcast is on Spotify, iTunes. I also publish a version here on YouTube. Make sure you dig in, you sink your teeth into that content. That's being said, let's kind of get a little bit to, first of all, the tools that I use when it comes to the landing pages. And then we're going to get into the selection of images because this is really important when it comes to a landing page. And finally, I'm gonna share with you a sort of done for your resource to help you get started up and running very quickly with your pre-launch landing page. Okay, so first of all, what tools do I recommend using? Well, it's really important not just to use a very simple website for a landing page, and here's why. When you have a normal website, you can click around to the different links, people can click the footer links, they can get lost, it's hard to track a conversion, there isn't very good tracking data in general, it's not really a tool for marketers. A website is great, it makes you look professional, it makes you look amazing. Um, for people that don't really know what they're doing, it's, a, it's basically a home base, right, where you can send other people. However, when you're doing a pre-launch, you want to go beyond just having a simple website and here's why. Number one, you cannot A-B test a website very easily. Number two, it's hard for you to track, okay, I sent a visitor here and then they went through all these links and eventually they maybe signed up for an email list or they eventually did this thing that I asked them to. It's very difficult to track something when you have so many variables, right? So what a landing page is, is it's meant to really minimize the number of variables and metrics that you have to track when it comes to the traffic flow. If you're sending people to this landing page, basically you can track one simple thing, which is did they opt in to your email list? Did they do this thing that you asked them to do, like join a Facebook Messenger bot? Did they do X, Y, or Z? There's a lot of things you can do, obviously, with the landing page. Did they even buy the products if you want to test that out, right? So there's a lot of stuff that you can do with the landing page. And the biggest difference is that when you're using a powerful landing page software tool like the one I'm about to mention, you can actually track all of that. And you can see, based on different changes that you make with what's called the top of funnel marketing, the traffic you're sending into this funnel, how does that affect the various changes when it comes to the opt-in rates, the click-through rates, clicks on different links in that landing page that you're trying to send people to? How does that affect that? And you can build a tight-knit, closed system so that you can run experiments and really narrow in on the best copywriting, the best images, the best um, layout, the best way of presenting a particular offer to a, a potential visitor, right? You can really narrow in on that. So the software tool that I recommend to get started with this is called Lead Pages. Now I've been using Lead Pages for many, many years. They have a rock solid system when it comes to setting up a landing page, very in-depth analytics. I use the pro version of Lead Pages as well, so I can really easily do A-B testing for any of the clients that I'm working with, or if I'm running landing pages for myself, for my personal brand, 
I can test out different headlines, different backgrounds, different anything, right, when it comes to these landing pages. So it's a very powerful tool because I can get a lot of data for not spending very much money on traffic. And also, I can get a ton of data in a very compressed period of time. If you want to think about it this way, you could run multiple advertising or marketing campaigns and you have to change up the landing page like every single time you're doing it. It's going to be a nightmare trying to dissect all that data going back in time, trying to figure out what are the best converting pages, what's the best copy. It's a lot of headache, but if you have A-B testing, it really speeds up the process, right? So first of all, the A-B testing component I think is incredible with lead pages. Number two, you can very easily track conversions when you send someone to a page. So you can see this percentage of people actually opted in when it comes to this particular landing page. This many people click this button that you then trigger as a conversion event within that landing page and you can track that. And what you can do is, okay, we're, we're sending this amount of traffic down the funnel. Let's just send, say we're sending 100 people down this marketing funnel. A really good marketer should be able to tell you just like right off the bat how many people are going to convert, how many people are going to take this action, how many people are going to take that action. And it should almost be scientific. Like they should be able to tell you down to a science, down to the very specific number, what they're going to expect based on their testing data. And if they don't know how to do that, they probably don't have this level of functionality installed, which you usually get with lead pages, right? So the other cool thing about lead pages is that you can customize your brand very easily. It's a drag and drop interface, very simple to use to customize fonts, to customize customize colors, like all that kind of stuff. You can get very nitty gritty there. I also have a ton of different customizable templates there in their lead pages marketplace. So there's a lot of great stuff. And one of the reasons why I like it so much is that it takes away a lot of a headache. I can just come there, I can log into the software tool and I can see how well is this page converting, right? And I can, I can make different tweaks in order to figure out, do I need to improve something? Do I need to have different photos? How can I improve the look and the feel of this page? So to give you an example of the powerful functionality of lead pages, I'm going to share with you a recent client that I was working with who had a very successful pre-launch. They did about $25,000 in the first 24 hours of their campaign. Actually, I think it was less than 24 hours. And they, they literally got funded like within the first hour. So it was insane, right? And we used lead pages to be able to make their pre-launch landing pages for them. So when it comes to this, I'm going to first share with you what, kind of what that looks like, right? And you can scroll and you can see based on the, the video that I'm making for you right now, what that kind of looks like. And what that kind of feels like. And then I'm going to kind of break down just a tiny bit what goes into a landing page like that. Okay, so as you're scrolling down the page, you can visibly see how this is eye popping, how it's very simple, how it communicates what it is that you're trying to communicate with this particular product, as well as the imagery that I chose to use on that landing page, right? So one of the biggest components of landing pages is the imagery, right? Because things are so visual nowadays with Facebook and um, Instagram and Pinterest and even YouTube is super visual with your thumbnails, right? The human beings basically are made to consume things from a vision standpoint. If you want to think of it this way, anything, any kind of information that you're getting is based in the five senses, right? It's based in hearing, it's based in sense of smell, touch, um, sight, etc. right? And, and one of the most primary ones that human beings rely on is vision. And if you don't believe this, think about the way that you read a book, right? When you read a book, do you actually see um, like, I don't know, a cascades of a waterfall or do you see really beautiful Sahara and rolling plains and do you see beautiful flowers when you're reading a book? I mean, you do, but you see it in your mind, right? The reason is when you're reading a book, you're just reading little symbols that are, put, that are across the page. And if you don't understand how to read, you're not going to know how to translate those little symbols into mental pictures and mental images in your head. So basically, what your brain is doing is it's translating from symbols to images. Images is really the first way that we try to process and understand the world as human beings. And that's why when you do something like you send people to a landing page with really rich images, it emotionally hits that person where they get like a, wow, that's surprising, that's magnificent, that's amazing. It makes you feel a certain way based on the colors, based on the design choices, based on the fonts, right? You know what a luxurious looking font probably looks like where it's a bit more spaced out, maybe thinner, a little bit of, of the font. And you can kind of get a sense of that just by looking at the branding of the packaging right behind it. 
So marketing is all about understanding how the brain works and the brain works visually with images, but obviously there's also a reading component to it. So when you're choosing the images for a landing page, one of the things that I would recommend, first of all, is looking into this next tool. So this next tool is called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Canva is a free tool which you can use online. However, I would recommend signing up to Canva Pro if you're interested in doing a successful Kickstarter, Indiegogo, equity crowdfunding campaign, e-commerce launch of any kind. Canva Pro will give you tons of different stock images, stock video, and if you have Canva, for pro also a marketer like me can really easily work with you otherwise we're going to be housing most of the media's assets on my own canva pro right and it's just going to be then having to deliver that always to you which is fine you know that, that's obviously that's not a big issue but if you're interested in doing your own marketing and keeping it in-house you want to have a lead pages pro if you can and you want to have canva pro would probably be the best i would say for doing a pre-launch that being said once you have canva pro there are tons of different tools layouts um, things that you can do there in order to really upgrade the functionality and the look and the feel of your particular landing page. So you could have GIFs in the way of functionality, you could have moving videos, you could have just really great looking images that have really cool gradients that kind of blend into each other the way that I did with my pre-launch page, right? There's a lot that you can do with Canva Pro. Also when it comes to your live Kickstarter campaign as well and your marketing in general when it comes to Facebook ads, Google ads, anything related to a Kickstarter campaign. It can really help you a lot. So down below, I'm gonna to link to Canva Pro, also gonna to link to lead pages. These are commission-based tools, so that means if you go and sign up there, I will get a small affiliate cut as kind of a thank you to me for making this video for you. Also, these are tools that I use regularly, so regardless of whether or not I would get a commission, I would still be recommending them to you. Now at the start of the video, I mentioned that we wanted to go through picking great images, right? How do you pick good images when it comes to a landing page, but also in marketing in general? And now I really think of this very similar to having a sense of telepathy. Now telepathy is obviously, it, it's magical, it's not real, it's something that science fiction books talk about. But actually, telepathy to me is just communicating a message. Right? Because when you're talking, someone that has to translate your words, when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to this camera, I'm talking to you at home, right? You're having to translate the words that I'm saying into visual images, into thoughts in your mind. And you're kind of for a little bit, when you're paying attention to me, you're not allowing yourself to think about maybe the coffee that's getting a little bit cold on your desk, maybe this other thing you have to do after the video. You're not thinking about all these other things that you have to do in life. You're spending your attention on me because this is gonna be worthwhile for you, right, at the end of the day. So basically telepathy to me is just great crystal clear communication. When you have really good communication, it feels like you're in sync with someone else. It feels like you're on the same page, as people say. And with your marketing, you wanna have that same similar sense. So when people come to the page, it doesn't take mental effort or mental work for people to figure out what it is the heck you're trying to communicate to them. They, they know instantly, they know very quickly, and there are a lot of easy ways to do that. So the first way is in my exercise, in my other YouTube video, I talked a lot about copywriting. If you haven't watched that video, go and check out the video on copywriting. I talk a lot about copywriting. Copywriting is all about figuring out functionality, benefits, and the promises of the product which you are selling, right? So once you've done that, you've done the thinking behind that, the question then becomes, how do you communicate that with more punch and power to the audience behind the screen? The way you do that is with images. And what you do is you pick out the various benefits and the various functionality and even the promises which you wrote with your copywriting materials and you select images that illustrate those points, right? That illustrate something that you're trying to say. So for example, if we have my glass of water here, right? And we were for some reason trying to sell this glass as being something that's really beautiful and like, let's just say um, luxurious and like expensive. What are some of the ways we could do that? Well, when it comes to functionality, we might talk about the way that this glass was hand prepared by some artisan in Italy or something like that, right? Or the amount of effort that went into making this. Now every single glass is a little bit different. And the way we would do this with an image is you'd have a photo of a glass, right? And then maybe you would have have um, a little bit of a diagram pointing at one portion of the glass illustrating that this thing has been made look at these little imperfections or look at the the materials pointing out and labeling the materials on the actual glass 
Other benefits might be it's very small, easy to easy to hold in your hand. Um, other benefits might be it holds like 2x extra liquid than another glass out there. So you might have a comparison of two different glasses showing that. Any benefit that you have that you've written down in the copywriting stage of your campaign, you should then pick an image which illustrates that particular benefit for your product. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have this whole folder full of images and I like to label them based on the different benefits of the product. So let's just say the product is super long lasting. Okay, how do we illustrate that in an image, in a video clip or in a GIF? Let's just say the product is ergonomic and really well designed and looks cool, right? How do we illustrate that within a particular photo? Are there different maybe angles? Are there other people that we want to include in this photo? If we want to say that this is a portable product, like easy to take with you, how are we going to communicate that? Is someone going to be taking it out of their bag? Are they going to be walking with it and showing that it's super portable? What are we going to do to illustrate that core benefit? So what you're doing is you're taking what's the bread and butter words and thoughts and description like we talk about with writing right and you're then connecting that to an image which illustrates that particular concept okay so that's kind of the bread and butter first of all behind picking really good images when it comes to marketing is picking an image that illustrates and hammers on the points that you're making with your copy when you got the landing page software, when you got the great images, when you got your great copy, right? And you know what you're doing when it comes to Facebook ads and it comes to driving traffic, then the next step is basically to put this all together. So there are a lot of ways in which you can do this. Now, this is meant to be a DIY do it yourself video to teach you at home how to basically replicate the process that I use in my marketing, right? So when it comes to this, Probably the easiest way to get started is to just think about the layout of the actual page and like what is going to go first, what are you going to use to capture attention, what is going to be the promises, what are going to be the core benefits that people care about, and you can kind of go through it and you can assemble a page that way. And I probably recommend also if you're not using, let's just say, Lead Pages Pro, you're using like the lower tier one to create a few different variations of landing pages so that you can test them out very easily and you can see what works from a data in empirical driven standpoint. I'm really big into data and science when it comes to marketing because otherwise you're just kind of guessing and just like, you know, hoping that something will work. And that really is not scalable and it's not something that you can apply going forward, right? So first of all, I would say think a little bit about that. When it comes to you and if you need a little bit of help with this, there are two ways in which you can get help. Well, I guess technically three, right? The first way is I'm going to the link down below and you can actually download the template that I used in this video, putting together the landing page for this particular client. Now I am charging for this particular template. You don't have to get it if you want to. The reason why I'm charging is it takes a heck of a lot of time to actually assemble something like this. In addition, when something's already proven to work, it's extremely valuable. There are so many amount of money you can waste on ads, so much time you can waste on things that you don't work. If you don't wanna waste money and time and you wanna use something that the professionals use, you can go and download that landing page uh, template that you can then really easily plug into lead pages and it will just work. And you can customize that obviously for your product and for your category and for your brand. Now that is not a cheap template, right? But if you want to really know what you're doing, it's gonna be very useful for your Kickstarter campaign. And you saw the way that this other campaign got rapidly funded using some of the tools that I mentioned here. That being said, while you can download this template, it's not necessarily like a silver bullet, okay? It's like basically, if you have a really good camera, right? That doesn't mean that instantly you're gonna become a great YouTuber. Or if you have a very high quality podcasting microphone, it doesn't mean just because you buy an expensive podcasting microphone that's really captures your voice very well, it doesn't mean you're gonna become the next Joe Rogan, right? There's still strategy behind it. You have to use the tool effectively. You have to know how to even use the camera, right? If you don't know how to do it, you're just gonna end up with a really expensive camera and one that you, you're not gonna use on a daily basis and you don't know how it works, right? So if you if you fall into more of that camp where you're not looking to do it yourself, you can always book me for a one-on-one -on -one coaching call 
I can go through more of your campaign in an hour long intensive session and I can figure out whether or not I would be able to help you or work with you or recommend other service providers as well as give you advice and feedback on your marketing up until this point in time. Those are meant to be useful one-off coaching sessions when it comes to helping you um, integrate this into your brand, helping you figure out Kickstarter, how it works, and really have an explosive launch that way so you can book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me if you fall more into that camp. Finally, um, the last thing I would say is that you don't necessarily need to use any of my tools or use any of the things that I'm telling you in order to be successful. You know, think about it this way. Um, when I was first getting started, like there wasn't really any kind of education around crowdfunding Kickstarter Indiegogo. And that's one of the reasons why I was so, you know, passionate about bringing this kind of education to you because it wasn't available for me. And it was so frustrating, right, for that to be the case. And I was able to figure it out. You know, it obviously took me time I'd say once probably around the four year mark, I felt much more of an expert when it comes to the industry, but also things are always changing. So I've been in the industry for eight years, right? And it's changed a ton even that that length of time and still going to continue to change. I see it changing every day. I'm putting YouTube videos out on new announcements when it comes to crowdfunding, right? So things are always changing and you really have to always be just upgrading your skill set. And that's just kind of how it is, honestly. You know, that's how marketing is, is that the tools change, techniques change, strategies change and you just have to be always up on your game but that's also something that I love because it keeps my work fresh it's exciting I love learning I love coming to work every single day when it comes to that and passing on that knowledge and education to you so if you're like Sal I don't need to do any of that I don't need to like buy your template I'm not interested in a coaching call I just want to try it out myself that's great you can go and check out lead pages I have a link in the description down below you can play around with the tool there are some other templates that like are kind of okay I'd say when it comes to lead pages and you can customize them you can figure it out and you can you know use canva and you can really try to pull something together and maybe then have me look at it or test it out and see if it works or not usually people will come to me once they are figured out that it doesn't really work right and then they have to like okay so what actually how do I change these things in order to get my marketing working. So I hope that this video was helpful for you and it's kind of meant to be instructive. It's meant to really shed a little bit more light on this pre-launch process, which I know can be a little bit confusing, but I hope that you enjoyed it. My name is Salvador Brigman. Please give me a subscribe on this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you did like this video, you found it worthwhile. Leave a comment down below with some questions and I will see you next time.